This is a Southern Boo Book Owl. You may have heard the noise at night time in the city of Manningham. Mop-book, mop-book, mop-book. That's their territorial sound. That's telling other owls where they live. Boo Book Owls are nocturnal. There are eight owl species found here in Australia. Boo Book Owls are hawk owls, and they're Australia's most widely distributed owl species. Southern Boo Book Owls are called Mopoke Owls as well. The Boo Book Owl's outer toe can splay out wide for greater grip of grabbing mice and rats. Can you see those talons for grabbing her prey with? Boo Book Owls are raptors. They hunt using their talons. But her best hunting adaptations are her hearing. Boo Book Owls are silent hunters. Did you see that? She can spin her head around 270 degrees. It's kind of like something out of Exorcist the movie. Don't watch that one, kids. Her eyes don't move in her orbital sockets. So she's evolved to spin her head around. She has binocular vision like a human being. When Boo Book Owls eat, they actually close their eyes. They close their eyes so mice and rats don't scratch the lens on their eyes. Clever, hey? Now you might see her doing this with her head. She's not listening to doof doof music or boogie woogie. She's actually three-dimensionally triangulating her sounds. She's getting sound from different sources. Her left ear is lower than her right ear. So her ears are offset. Look at their amazing dappled camouflage. Browns and whites, perfect camouflage for hiding in the tree canopy away from daytime predators. The biggest threat to boobook owls are us. Boobook owls often get hit by our vehicles at night time. Human beings use rodenticides, rat sack and mouse poisons. And when rats and mice die, these guys eat them. And good night to a boobook owl after they've eaten a poison mouse or rat. Don't use rat sack. Keep your gardens nice and clean. We need owls. They eat up all the mice and rats. And they eat up all of the insects. Boobook owls need owl help. They're running out of places to roost and nest in. You see, they need hollow logs to lay their eggs in. It's pretty hard to find a nesting hollow these days in the city of Manningham. Many of the sites have been taken over by Indian miter birds, which are invasive, aggressive species. Let's put up nesting boxes in our own back gardens so we can give boobook owls a place to live and a place to lay their eggs. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Manningham is home to Australia's smallest owl species, the boobook owl, and also Australia's largest owl species, the powerful owl. What a great place to live. Let's look after it together.